Where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. In today's gospel, Jesus speaks to his disciples about earthly treasures. And it might be easy to read this gospel passage in a way that seems to reject all material goods and possessions. But does Jesus really expect his disciples to reject all earthly goods? Let's pause and listen to the words of Jesus in today's gospel. Jesus begins by placing in contrast the goods of this earth and the goods of heaven. He tells the disciples, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal, but store up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys nor thieves break in and steal. We could ask ourselves this question, when does our use of the goods of this earth become problematic? It is when we get attached to them, when we start to place our trust in them, that we lose sight of their real purpose. When we start to become envious of others' possessions or become greedy for excessive amounts of material things, then we go down the slippery slope of materialism. All the earthly possessions we have are meant to serve our physical needs, not to control our desires and our lives. If acquiring material possessions dominates our relationships and our lives, then the words of Jesus can speak to us today. Jesus invites us to place all the material goods and possessions we have within the larger context of the things of heaven. His words in today's gospel call us to reflect on whether we desire spiritual riches and treasures in the same way that we might seek after material things? Do we yearn for God's love, mercy, His grace and forgiveness in the same way that we desire the latest material thing or possession? Do we seek after peace, joy and hope that comes from reading and reflecting on God's word in the same way that we might seek out the latest commercial products? We live in a society where consumerism is encouraged and materialism is often celebrated. Just take a look at all the advertising that surrounds us each day. It's difficult to escape the fact that material goods and possessions are constantly being marketed to us. Whether on billboards, magazines, television or the internet, we cannot escape the selling and buying of material goods. Jesus reminds us today to place our trust and hope in those things that will last forever. It is the things of the spiritual life, grace, mercy, peace, and joy that will last forever, long after our best and most prized material possessions. Have a blessed day.